So as I often do, I'm going to goldfish this deck. Um, imagine I have three other, two other opponents, three players in total, and I'm going to see how the early draws go. Basically, though, with Kervek, my goal is to see how quickly I can get him into play. So I'm going to draw my initial hand, Let's see how quickly I can get him into play, and <clears throat> if it goes to turn seven, I still have not gotten him in play, then I'll shut off this simulation and start another one. So the deck is shuffled. My group, of course, we take the cards we don't want, set them aside, and draw that many cards. So at this point, I really don't want Falcon Earth Noble. I'll keep all the lands. I'll keep Greaves. I'll set aside Helm of Possession. I'll set aside Siege Gang Commander. So I draw three cards. One, no mana rock yet. Two, uh, nope. Three, okay. So let's shuffle these back in. And see what the draws are like. So, turn one, draw off my turn. Okay, that's not what I was hoping for. So, first thing I would play is Rocky Tar Pit. Turn one comes into play tapped. Who cares? My opponents take their turn. Tap Rocky Tar Pit. Draw off my turn. Not a mana rock. but uh, could be relevant if this were an actual game. Okay, so I will play Snow Covered Mountain. I'll sacrifice the Rocky Tar Pit. I'll go find Where is my blood grip? Is it at the bottom? <laughs> Blood Crypt, where are you? <laughs> That's right on top. Fantastic. So, I have a decision to make. Do I play it untapped and lose two life? So I can play the Talisman, or do I play it tapped? Okay, at this point, since I only have one mana rock, I am going to play it tapped. So I don't lose two life. I cannot play the Talisman this turn. So my opponent's turn, opponent's turn, comes back to me. Untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, there we go. Okay, so let's get the Sulphur Springs out. Let's tap those for my Talisman of Indulgence. Move this back so you can see what I have in play. So, still have two mana left. There's nothing else I really want to cast, so I'm not going to. So my opponents take their turns, untap, draw off my turn. Oh, Hell's Caretaker. So, let's play the Petrified Field. This is now turn four. I've got nothing in play. I'm naked to attack. I cannot play Kervek yet because I only have five mana. So, what I can do is run out that Gilded Lotus and hope nobody blows it up which is always a risk because it is such a tempting target for destruction so my opponents take their turns, I untap it is now turn 5 I have 8 mana 
I can cast Kervek. Uh, my opponents, anybody that's paying attention, would know that, and uh, they wouldn't like it. Far off my turn, Mog War Marshal. <coughs> Oh, excuse me. What I should have done last turn is cast the Lightning Greaves. That's a mistake. So anyway, let's try one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Kervik comes into play. And now my opponents have something to worry about. So this was, uh, this was about average. Getting him on, on to play on turn 5, um, that's fairly common. Um, not as impressive as I'd like, but it is what it is. Of course, now he's naked. I did not cast the Greaves like I should have, so he's open to destruction. Yes, I will be able to do, to do damage based on whatever somebody cast to kill him, but that's kind of a pirate victory. So let's go another turn. So untap, upkeep draw, ah. cunning spark mage. Okay, so this is another one of those test sessions where I don't really know how good all this is because I don't have anything to play against. I don't see what real opponents are doing. Maybe they're struggling. Maybe they're really pumping on all cylinders and they're about to overwhelm me. I don't know. So this turn I would cast the Lightning Greaves, equip it to Karavek, cast the Mog War Marshal, get him into play, pass the turn. So. I'm going to end there. I'm going to start another simulation and see how long it takes to cast Caravac on the second one.